a story, but something to tell, I guess. So today, um, I went to the store, and I went in by myself, because I was the only one that was getting anything, and I was getting this. I got this. But to get it, I had to put different things in it, because it's a mixture of cherry coke, no, it's a mixture of coke, spray and cherry flavoring and a little bit of Diet Coke just because I don't know why I just put random things in my drinks to see how they taste because when there's fountain drinks I will get that instead and just put everything in it just to see how it tastes and so and when I was doing it like the machine was kind of broken like when you press the cherry flavoring one it like a drop came out and so I was going like that really hard the whole time because I was trying to get it to come out, and so I pressed it down, and only one dropped down, and I kept doing it over and over and over again. And this guy was standing there. This guy was, like, standing next to me, and he was looking at me, like, 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 the way, like, a five-year-old looks at, like, someone kissing in a movie or something. And I looked back at him, like, because I thought he was looking at someone else, because... But I looked to my side and there was no one there and I'm and and like I got scared of it because he's staring at me. Of course he was. But he was staring like disgusted at me. He was a lot, a lot older than me and he was just staring at me like It was weird. I didn't know who he was. I didn't know if he like recognized me or if he thought I was just being a weirdo because I was going like sense to me and as soon as I like was done getting my soda he walked to the soda machine well he walked very slowly like he was walking to it like he was standing like three feet away from me but when I left like I looked at him to see like if he was looking at something else and I was like standing in the way because he was just standing on the spot while I was doing it the whole time. So when I left, he came and he walked very slowly and he was about to push the button. And But I, that's when I decided to walk away. I'm like, I'm not going to just watch him this whole time and be more creepy than he already thinks I am. Because he obviously thought I was weird. He thought I was a weird. I am. I mean, everyone says that they're weird, and everyone says that, and then whoever says that they're not weird, and then some people don't, but most people are like, oh my gosh, I'm so weird. I'm so different. I'm so. And everyone's different, and if you want to be weird, you can. And I find myself weird, but I bet anyone watching this will, will think, she's not weird. I don't know why she calls herself that. But when, like, it depends on who I'm around. If, like, no one's watching me, I'm probably really, 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 really weird. If I'm with my, like, close, close friends, I'm super duper weird. But I think that when I'm with my close friends, I'm, like, the most myself. When I'm either by myself with my, with my family or with my close friends, I'm my most self. Like, if I'm around friends that I don't know that well, I'll be like, oh, you can choose everything. If I'm with, like, if I'm out in public, I might act weird, but not as weird as I would if I'm with my close friends or family or by myself. So, I, was, I probably thought I was by myself when I was doing that, but I also probably didn't. I, th I know I was in public, but I didn't think anyone was watching me. This is just a random story that I got from earlier today, and yeah, I just wanted to share it with you guys, and tell you I'm having a pretty good one, so.